here is a video which shows why driving in America is such a teeth grating pain in the ass. I'm up behind this guy who's going 50, 45, 50 miles an hour. The speed limit's 55. Uh, so he's going right about the speed limit. He's a proto almost clover. The problem really isn't him. The problem is that there's yellow lines everywhere, double yellow lines everywhere in America. So legally, I can't pass this guy. Legally, I'm stuck squatting behind this guy who's going just under, just under the already ridiculously under posted speed limit. And all it takes is one such guy, especially in an area where there is a fair amount of population density, to just bring traffic to a, a halt or just slow it up, which is why it takes forever to get anywhere. See, he hits the brakes for no reason, and, and he just kind of moseys along, which is fine. That's his speed that he's comfortable with. But now look here up ahead. You'll see this probably half a mile of road here with a double yellow line. There's absolutely no reason why that should be uh, an illegal passing zone. The problem is that passing zones are almost non-existent. Now I've got one up ahead. It's the only passing zone on this road for miles. Uh, and hopefully I'll have the opportunity. The problem is that technically I'm not supposed to go faster than the speed limit to pass him. And since he's barely going the speed limit, it's very difficult to pass him uh, safely and legally. So I'm gonna have to risk speeding to pass this guy. And if there are other cars coming, I'll be out of luck until the next speeding, uh, next double yellow uh, or passing zone. So let's see what happens. See if I can get around the clover. Looks like I might actually have a break. Yep, here we go, the little passing zone. Now, look at this passing zone and tell me if it's any different than the one that we just passed about a mile back where it was illegal to pass. Preposterous. America is run by maniacs, and no wonder everybody has high blood pressure and or the diabetes from stuffing their face with food to try to make themselves feel somewhat better about having to drive in this insane environment. Anyway, for more videos of clovers in action, uh, drop by epautos.com uh, and our adjunct site, which is clover.com, where you'll find a bunch of additional videos as well as running commentary on clovers of all descriptions. So we'll see.